restricting access to abortion would have very damaging effects on the economy, Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen testified to the Senate Tuesday as the Supreme Court appears poised to overturn Roe v. Wade, testimony that's backed up by numerous studies showing restricting abortion has a negative E. That's how much higher 15 to 44 year old women's earnings would be on average if all state level abortion restrictions were eliminated, IWPR estimates. Lifting restrictions would allow 505,000 additional women ages 15 to 44 to join the workforce, earning a combined $3 billion per year, and women who are already employed would earn a combined $101. 8 billion more annually. Even Democratic-led states that have permissive laws on abortion are negatively impacted economically by restrictions on the procedure, despite those laws being largely concentrated in other states. California and New York, for instance, had $5. 5 billion and 4 dollars. 1 billion in economic losses in 2020 due to abortion restrictions, IWPR found. The impact of all state-level abortion restrictions being lifted would be less pronounced in those states, however, California's GDP would only increase by 0. 17 percent and only 0. 49% more women ages 15 to 44 would join the workforce, as compared with a 2. 15% labor force increase in Oklahoma and Texas. I. Senator Tim Scott, R.S. C. hit back at Yellen's comments Tuesday as harsh and unusually piercing. I think framing, abortion, in the context of labor force participation just feels callous to me, Scott said during the hearing, arguing senators should focus on issues like child tax credits, cheat. The Supreme Court may soon overturn Roe v. Wade. According to a draft opinion leaked by Politico showing a majority of justices favor striking down the 1973 ruling. The draft is from February in a case concerning Mississippi's 15-week abortion ban and Chief Justice John Roberts has said it should not be taken as the court's final opinion, though the Washington Post reports a majority of justices still backed overturning the ruling as of last week. The potential ruling could lead to 26 states banning abortion, the pro-abortion rights Guttmacher Institute projects, after many have already moved in recent months to restrict the procedure. Texas now bans all abortions after six weeks of pregnancy, for instance, and Idaho and Oklahoma have followed suit, though Idaho's policy is now blocked, and Florida and Arizona have enacted their own 15-week bans in advance of the court's ruling.